Hello and welcome. In this video I'm showing you how to get multiple keys for values in a dictionary. As you see I already created a dictionary here named grades and that is containing names as the key value and grades as the assigned value. So for example in a class or in an examination or whatever you can imagine. So let's print that out and take an example. Sarah achieved an A, Joe a B, Lisa achieved an A as well and so on. We already know how to get the value for a certain key value and that was just typing down the name of the dictionary, use squared brackets and contain the key value inside there. If we're executing that, we're getting the value which is stored to this specific key value. Now how do we get it the other way around? So I'm interested in those people who achieved an A. So I'm interested in the drivers in this class. Well, first of all we have to understand how do we iterate through a dictionary and that is we're just defining a for loop here for i in grades which is our dictionary we're just printing out the iterator here so you see what we are getting and as you see we are getting the key values only the key values of this dictionary and that is important to understand now how do we get the grades well we are using this same syntax here so we are using the name of the dictionary here use square brackets and contain the iterator which are the names as we saw here. If we are executing that we are getting the grades of all those people here. Well how can we use that to actually get the keys for this value? That is easily done by defining a conditional statement here. So we are just telling Python if the grades of a certain person or the grade of a certain person is an A give us the name, which is just the iterator. So we are just printing out R here. So if we're executing that, we're getting an invalid syntax because I forgot the colon here. So we are getting Sarah and Lisa, which are those people who achieved an A. So pretty easy, right? But we can't work with that here. So we want to store it somewhere. And we can do that by defining an empty list first. So I'm just getting drivers here and now I'm just defining the append function inside this loop here, so to get Sarah and Lisa inside this list here. So I'm just using strivers.append and then the iterator which is the name as we saw. So if we're executing that and print out this list, we have achieved what we wanted to get. A more professional way to perform this is using list comprehension, so I'm covering this here as well, so I'm not going much into detail here, you can check out my video on list comprehension. So we are just using squared brackets, then define i for i in grades, and then the conditional statement if grades i equals to a. So that is basically the exact same syntax as here, but in a single line of code. So if we're executing that, we would get the exact same result here, as you see here. So this is recommended. An alternative, but not my preferred way, would be to use two iterators. Therefore, we are calling the items function of a dictionary. So we are using grades.items and we are getting something like that. And this is iterable and we can use two iterators here. One for the name or the names and one for the grades. So our first iterator is iterating through the names and our second one is iterating through the grades. So we are using the same logic as above. We are defining an empty list. And now we're using for IE, so we are using two iterators again in this items object. And now we're using the second iterator, which is our grades, A, B, C, D, A, as A here. So of course we have to provide if E equals to A. And then we are appending the first iterator, which is our names, to this drivers list. So we are just using append I here. So if we're executing that and printing out our list, we are getting what we wanted to get. Again, recommended here is to use list comprehension. So that is this syntax in a sing single line of code. And that is done by i for ie in grades.item. So that is the same syntax as above if e equals to a. Done. We are getting what we wanted to get. And that's already it. I hope you enjoyed this video or at least learned something. In case you did, consider supporting this channel by subscribing and liking the video. Comment if you have any problems or want to tell me your preferred way. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm seeing you in the upcoming videos. Have a nice time. Bye bye.